So now let's talk about the sort function and also the argsort function. So as you can see, we have imported NumPy as np, and also we have created an array which is called x, which is a bunch of numbers, and these are the corresponding indices for these values. And remember that Python is start counting at zero, so the first value, the index of the first value is zero, the index of the second value is one, and etc. So in order to sort these values in ascending order, we simply type np.sort because you want to sort the values of x. And then, for example, suppose that I want to print the results. So if I run the code, you can see here's the results, which you can see this is the sorted array which you can see that these values have been sorted in ascending order. But what about the arc sort? Basically, the arc sort returns at the indices of these values. So what is the index of 10? So as you can see, the index of 10 is 2. Then the index of 14, as you can see, is 3. And the index of 15, the index of 50 is 0. And the index of 600, as you can see, is 1. So if I print np.argsort of x, and if I run the code, you can see here is the arg sort output, which you can see it is exactly this one. And basically the output of the arg sort means if you want to sort the values in the ascending order, you should put the corresponding values of these indices one after each other, I mean exactly in this order, to make the sorted array. So if you want to sort the values, you should put the corresponding values of these indices one after each other in order to make these sorted arrays. So basically, these are the corresponding indices of the sorted array. But here is a question. How can we do all this stuff in descending order? In order to do so, so first of all, let's delete this line. In order to do so, we should open a square bracket and also we should close the square bracket. And then we simply put to colon and we should pass minus one. Basically, this is somewhat an indexing. It means from the beginning of the array all the way up to the end of the array with a negative one step. And with a negative one step, it means we are reversing this. So we are reversing this and Basically, so this basically means we are reversing all the stuff. So if I use this for the arc sort as well, and if I run the code, you can see we have reversed the sorted array, and also we have reversed the arc sort output. So basically, these are the output for sorting in descending order, and the output of the arc sort for the descending order. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.